Do you look for the best free alternative to cPanel? In this tutorial, you will learn how to install this cPanel free alternative on Oracle Cloud Free VM instance. CyberPanel is much better than Virtualman which is another free alternative to cPanel. The big problems of the Virtualman are complexity, hard to use and there is no updated technology. If you interesting to learn about Virtualman check our previous videos. You can find links in the description. CyberPanel is a web hosting panel that is easy to use and more user-friendly interface like panel. CyberPanel comes with open light speed which makes your Apache WordPress site 10 times speed and faster than a normal server. There are so many additional features of CyberPanel you need to consider. Unlimited website hosting on one panel, light speed free caching, quick transfer protocol, one-click automatic let's encrypt SSL, multiple PHP versions, build in DNS and SMTP email servers, web-based command line interface, Google Drive backup system, and much more. Step 1. Registration on Oracle Cloud. First, you have to register on Oracle Cloud free tier which gives two free VPS for lifetime use. If you have to face any issue during the registration watch the first part of this video. If you want a powerful cheap VPS server, check the article in the description. After the registration, you can go to the next step. Step 2. Set up VM instance on Oracle Cloud. In the Oracle Cloud dashboard, click the Create VM Instance button to enter this window. Here you can customize your VM instance. If you want you can change the instance name. Under Image and Shapes, click the Edit button to select the OS of the instance. Then click the Change Image button, you will see the available list of operation systems. Select Canonical Ubuntu 20.04 as your OS, not the minimal version. Under Networking, click the Edit button to change network type. Make sure you selected both Create New Virtual Cloud Network and Create New Public Subnet. You have to pass SSH keys to the instance. It is very important to connect to the server using the terminal. Select the Paste Public Key option to add a key. You have to install the PuTTY app to generate an SSH key pair. Check the description, you will find the download link in the article. After the installation of the PuTTY app, open Puttygen to generate new SSH keys. Click the Generate button and move your cursor in this area. Select the whole public key and copy the key into the instance. After that deploy the server by pressing the Create button. Save the private key in a safe place, it is very important to connect to the server. Add firewall rules to open ports. While deploying the server, let's go to the firewall section to open essential ports for this server. You can see there is a link call subnet, right click and open it in a new tab. Click on the subnet name, you can add all ports here. In this section, you can add rules by clicking the add ingress rules button at the corner. Enter this IP parameter as the source that allows all IP ranges to connect CyberPanel through the internet. You have to add all these TCP ports as destinations. Check the article, it is included all the ports, you just have to copy and paste. You have to add another rule to open UDP ports as well. Enter the same IP parameter as the source and enter these two destinations. I have forgotten to change the IP protocol TCP to UDP for the first time. Now I corrected the protocol for these two ports. Remember to change the protocol at the first entry, then you don't have to worry. After adding firewall rules, go back to the instant details page. Now this server is up and running. Install CyberPanel web-based control panel. First, open the PuTTY app that you installed earlier. It allows you to connect the VPS using the terminal remotely. Paste the external IP address of the server as the hostname. Under SSH, click off to add the private key that you saved in the previous step. 
Go back to the session tab and saved your session using any name that you preferred. It is helpful to connect the server again without entering the credentials. Put app open the terminal like this, you can proceed by typing Ubuntu. Get the root access before the adding swap file. You have to enter this long command to add swap space to the server. Check the description, all the commands and guidelines are provided. I recommend following the guide for better understanding. This command adds a 5024 MB swap file to the system, you can add more memory by changing the number. Swap space is a virtual memory that assists the RAM to get better performance. This process takes time, wait until it is finished. You can check the available memory by typing this command. Swap file added to the system successfully. If you want you can set the host name for this server. It is important, if you plan to host an SMTP server using the CyberPanel. You just want to install CyberPanel this is optional. Use this command to set the host name. Remember to replace the domain name with your domain. Only subdomains can use as the host names, not the root domain. You can check the host name by typing this. Oracle Cloud set up an IP table inside the VM instances. Enter this command to get access to the server through the internet. Update and upgrade the list of packages in the system using this command. Before running the CyberPanel installation script, get super user access by typing this command. Install CyberPanel now. It will ask few questions before the full installation. Select option 1 to proceed with the installation. The free option is CyberPanel with open light speed. Type Y to proceed with the full installation. It asks to set up a MISCL server at the remote site, we have to install it in the server. So, select type N for that. Press Enter to proceed with the lasted version of the Cyber Panel. You can set the password for the control panel. There are three options. I chose to set the password. Enter a password and confirm it by retyping. I don't want to install Memcaked and redis for this server. Type capital Y to proceed with the setup. This installation takes a long time, wait until it is finished the installation. I speed up the installation process. After the installation, all the information related to the server will be displayed. Copy these details to a notepad before restarting the server. After restarting the server, IP table rules are applied again then you are unable to connect the cyber panel through the internet. Connect to the server again by restarting the session or using the saved session. Get the root access again to continue. Enter the IP table released command again. Now you can refresh the window, it will redirect to the login panel. You can connect to the server by typing your public IP address in the 8090 port. Use admin as the username and previously set password to login into the dashboard. CyberPanel has so many features to explain and use. In future tutorials, you will learn how to host a fast WordPress site and SMTP mail server using CyberPanel. If you any issues regarding the tutorial, open the question directly on the Minex community forum. Because most of the YouTube comments are missed from us. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Thank you for watching Minex.